it doesn't matter if you are fully insured, self-insured, level funded, pay as you go, or anything else you want to call it. If the claim comes in, cash goes out. Ergo, the only effective way to control your costs is to lower the cost of care. Not as hard as you think, and we're going to talk about that today. My name is Allison DePauli, and I started Altique Consulting to get employers off the healthcare spend escalator and back to running your business. We help employers like you take control of your healthcare spend and get budgeting predictability. And the happy side effect of that is better access to high quality care and lower out of pocket costs for your employees. Our clients here, your employees had access to the best quality care, you paid a fair price for it, and you paid only for the health care that your employees consumed. When you hear this, you can expect your health care costs will be 10 to 20% less than last year. For the best advice about how to shrink your benefits budget, make it predictable and controllable, all while improving your benefits for your employees, subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notifications bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Every time someone goes to the doctor, fills a prescription, has a surgery, has a, goes for imaging, a claim comes in. Cash is needed to pay those claims. You pay your insurance premium, or, or you have a rating factor if you're self-insured, based on what your expected claims cost is and your admin costs um, for paying those claims. If you're fully insured, same thing. It's just opaque to you. If you're self-insured, you see it. You see it on your renewal illustration every year. Your expected claim costs, your admin costs, any other fees, what your rebate credit is. I hate rebate credits. What your claims are anticipated to be. You see it all outlined. Same thing if you're fully insured. You just don't see it. You can ask for your data though, and you can run your own calculation, and a smart advisor, one that is aligned with your interests, can do that for you. Does this make sense? even though it is the opposite of what you normally hear. We'll drop some video links below about some ways to contain your costs so you have some resources, but let's talk more about claim in, cash out. So when you're calculating your budget for the upcoming year, do you want to only pay for incurred claims or would you rather pay a premium based on your claims from last year plus some profit and some margin? I call that pay as you go protection. My guess, is that you would rather only pay for incurred claims plus a reasonable cost to run the plan. I hope what you're taking away from this video is that self-insurance, level funded plans, and fully insured plans are all rated the same in. Claim in, cash out, how much do we need? What I suspect or hope is that when you look at it all this way, Self-insurance becomes less risky than fully insured. With a self-funded plan or pay-as-you-go, you can set the parameters and you control the cash. I think most employers would rather control their cash than let somebody else control their cash. So if you're interested in leveling the playing field and making your health plan work for you and your employees, if you're interested in saving your plan significant dollars, click the link below and let's see if we're a good fit.